Brought to you by 1AAuto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Hi, I'm Mike from 1A Auto. I hope this how-to video helps you out. And next time you need parts for your vehicle, think of 1AAuto.com. Thanks. In this video, we're going to show you how to service the fog light on this 2008 Chevy Equinox. Uh, basically, same as any 05 to 09 Equinox. And I actually go from, a, from above. I remove the headlight, um, and then I reach it from above, which to me is easier. You don't have to worry about crawling around on the ground. Uh, you can remove a panel at the bottom um, and reach the fog light from below if you wanted to. First, you're going to want to remove this center bar. And it's not too difficult. Use a flat blade screwdriver on the edge. Carefully go in here and pry out some. Okay, and then pry out towards the middle a little more. Okay, and what I do is usually just give this here a good tap. Repeat that for the other side. Okay, and eventually this whole bar comes off. Okay, on the back side, it has little plastic clips. You can see one broke off there. Okay, they're all good in the middle. Um, two have broken off on this side. Usually, if you've got a broken one, it's okay to kind of Grab one from the middle here. Okay, and then put it on the outside. Always important that you have them on at least the outsides and then some of the middle ones. Now there's three bolts to remove, two eight millimeter, one here, one here, and then there's a 10 millimeter way down right in there. Okay, the 10 millimeter is usually the hardest. I've got a couple extensions on my ratchet. Right down. Okay, we'll just speed up here as we take those three bolts out. Um, the one that's way down low, the 10 millimeter, is going to be the most difficult. It's uh, on there with some uh, Loctite, so you'll have to put a little effort into it. Those bolts off. This tab here, you pull up, and then it comes out. There's a little tab that locks down. And then you want to grab the headlight down at the bottom on the edge, and you want to give it a good pivot ball at the bottom. So you want to give the light a good tug, okay, and then kind of come out, up, and out with it. Okay, once your headlights out of the way, your fog light is right here. Um, you can reach it from down underneath by pulling out a couple of pins, uh, but I find this way is just as easy and actually a little more comfortable um, to just change your bulb there is, or you can just actually turn counterclockwise, pull it out, okay, and then there's a couple ears right here, pull them aside, pull the bulb off, okay, the bulb put it in, turn clockwise to lock it. Okay, if you want to remove your um, Fog light, you want to reach in here and pull from the back side. And while you're pulling from the back side, um, there's a few clips. I usually start with the top outside. You kind of work your screwdriver in there, pry it up and out from the light a little bit. Next one. Okay. Okay, and then your light pulls out. Okay, new one from Morning Auto. You can see it's the exact same as the old one. Obviously, my old one's fine, so I'll put that back in. Um, but the new one from Morning Auto, if yours gets broken uh, or whatever, um, you know you can get a good replacement. If you're putting a new one in, uh, you can just, before you install it, just use an Allen wrench and preliminarily aim it just by kind of adjusting it to the same uh, position as your original. 
installation is pretty easy. Make sure that the uh, adjuster screw is up. And just kind of twist it back and forth a little bit and push it right in. Okay, and now in behind here. Okay, press on a tab here. Disconnect your headlight bulb. Okay, and then these bulbs, you can either press the tab and disconnect them, or you also can twist, and that one comes out. This one up here also twists, and this one here twists and comes out. I'm going to put it back in place. Connect our headlight. This is here, this goes here, and this one on here. Okay, the harness is all connected. Make sure you pull the plastic off the bottom and the sides. And kind of put your light down and in. Light down and in. Make sure your wires go down below the metal support here. Pull it on that right there a little bit. Bring your light into place. Okay, push this upper one back and on. Okay, make sure the lower one goes gets lined up and it goes back and in. And then you put your Back on. Okay, now I'm going to speed up here as I put uh, put the two upper ones in by hand first, then tighten them up, uh, then feed the lower one down in. I just put it in by hand first, then tighten them up. And all these uh, bolts, you want them firm, but uh, don't over tighten them. Just put your bar back on. We hope this helps you out. Brought to you by www.1aauto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Please feel free to call us toll free 888-844-3393. We're the company that's here for you on the internet and in person.